Welcome to To Enable Help. This video is for teachers to help them with setting up reports as an alternative to the reports that they are accustomed. So, and it specifically relates to this button in my classroom, and we're focusing on music theory pre grade one for Castleberry's Music Development Academy. So, if I go student reports, I can analyze the results for this class that I'm in, that I'm mentoring and we've already chosen who's, who the students are that I'm mentoring in a previous video. But what this does is it actually draws a graph of all the results that the learner has achieved using the assessments on the platform. So if we pick uh, Fortune as an example, Fortune hasn't done all the assessments um, and obviously the more assessments that a learner does, the more accurate this graph will be and the more meaningful it will be. Okay, but here you can see learner fortune has got 61.88% and he's done exceptionally well in letter names, in terms and signs and key signatures. All right, he's not done that well in notes, values and rests and time signatures. So by giving a graph of the results, a learner can be more informed about where his or her strengths and weaknesses lie. So, for instance, here's another learner, Gracious, and she's done well in three of the modules, and she's done, in fact, that module of 38% is not great, but it's, it's certainly better than many of her other results. So she can see where she needs to focus her time. She does not need to focus her time on letter names. Now, these are all informal assessments that are as part of the part of To Enable. And um, what we can do is we can decide, well, actually what we want to do is make that graph more meaningful because we want to include in on that graph specific results that we have uh, acquired during formal examination. So I'm using Alan as an, as an example. Here I have been able to capture his results. Um, and that's a bit interesting because that should be 2016. So here in 2016, his mid-year examination, he got a C. And I've said, Alan, in fact, we can have a look at this. Alan, very well done considering you were on exchange for the past six months. So, um, so that is a, a result which I've captured. Now, that would be uh, a formal result. It would be something which you would have taken um, as part of an examination or as a cycle test or... or what you use normally to measure your students. So in Alan's case, I had to say that I can go student reports and I'm going to pick Alan, just specifically Alan rather than the whole and everybody. And I can see what Alan's only done two assessments. Okay, he's done well in that one and he's not done particularly well here. His average is 38%. But in his examination, these are his formal results. Okay, he's done very well. There's his comment. There's his symbol, and that was the examination type. And these examination types, we can make anything. They can be cycle tests, mid-year exams, term one, term two, term three, and the year in which he took it. In fact, no, I saved it and cha I changed it and saved when I said 2016. But this is the type of information we can provide to parents and to learners. Um, so learners don't get necessarily just a symbol. They actually get some information about where their strengths and actual weaknesses lie. And we feel this is a very important part of reporting uh, learners' progress both to the learner and to their parents. Um, and a graph like this where you actually show the, the grade average and the learners' uh, performance themselves is, is of value in this space. And we hope it will be of use to you in uh, generating reports for your learners.